Mike Burgoyne here, Mexico Real Estate Solutions. And I recently said, coming soon. And this is it. Uh, ridiculous location. Check this out behind me. Of course, I'll do you a favor and I will turn the camera around so you don't have to see the view with my face in it. But the water is ridiculous today. I couldn't have picked a better day to come see this property. Um, again, I'll, uh, I'll turn the camera around so you get a better look. But we're looking at a clearly oceanfront. We're in the municipality of Tulum. And the, the street we're on is in Soliman Bay. It's a one road community and it's all beachfront villas. Um, what we're looking at is three standalone bedrooms, each with their own ensuite, uh, an owner's apartment, really. And then you've got a kitchen slash living common area for everybody to enjoy. Uh, incredible price on this. I, you've heard me say spectacular and incredible and all that, all those keywords in the past, but um, oceanfront in this location at this price is, uh, is really ridiculous. So let me show you. I don't know that I've ever seen the water. Well, I guess I have. Probably the last video I took, <laughs> I said the same thing. But this is ridiculous. Look how pretty this is. And there's nothing here in Solomon Bay. We've got a beachfront hotel called Yashita. And uh, single family homes, beachfront villas. That's what we've got. There's a condo project just starting construction down towards the end of the day there. But otherwise, that's it here in Solomon Bay. Let's go check out this property, shall we? I don't want to leave the beach. Take my shoes off already. Walking up from the beach. Let me zoom out so you get a better perspective. Here we are. The property does have a swimming pool. It's in amongst the, the rooms, the, the bedrooms. Ocean front, beach front hammock. You've got a nice palapa space here. Lots of room for some sun chairs, obviously. Another palapa over here. Um, lots of gorgeous trees on this lot. And that's, you know, the people, the family that built this home uh, I've tried to keep as much of these trees as they could. When they started building, they, just, they built just the two front buildings here. And uh, yeah, take a look. They kept building a little bit more towards the road. So I spoke of three bedrooms and an owner's unit. The one, two bedrooms right here, one, two, really identical to each other. Beautiful arch above me, I think you saw that. Nice terrace here, part of me had to drop my sandals. And here's, of course, the view from your kitchen dining space. Beautiful. All right, let's get to it, otherwise we'll be here all day. I guess I've been a lot in these big homes I've been doing lately. Beautiful couple of ceiling. Love that brick detail. A lot of color in this property and I think that's awesome. Um, you're in Mexico, don't be afraid to use some color. And they sure were not afraid to use color in here. So Walk-in shower, of course. This is in the property. Um, full bathroom number four. Each of the bedrooms has their own ensuite. And there's another half bath off the master. No glass, all louvered, screened windows. Just a bit of a storage space here. Pops outside, extra refrigerator. It'll be a bit of a service entrance. A lot of stained glass on the property too, which is, is very pretty. Great housekeepers here in this house. Murals everywhere, and really well done. 
that's, I'm not an artist, but I'm really starting to appreciate what they've done here. Honestly, it's incredible. Photo of, photo of the reef. All right, back to it. Like I said, lots of color, lots of color everywhere. Murals, even here, where no guest, you yourself, you're not going to spend much time. But you've got two cans. They didn't leave any nasty gray concrete walls anywhere. All three bedrooms are very similar to this. All right. Upstairs, we've got beautiful ceiling details. Otherwise, you've got room for, you've got a king bed and you've got half bath. Favorite part of this one is you've got an outdoor shower. Check that out. Yeah, that's nice. We're incorporating an outdoor shower for sure in the house that we're working on designing now. Okay. Carrying on. Follow the yellow brick road. We'll go on up. The nice ceramic tile inlays on all the steps coming up. And beautiful water views too. I don't think it comes through very well in the camera with all the shadows and, and trees more stained glass and like I said almost the identical bedroom but with the gorgeous ceiling detail and because we're up a floor of course this is not an outdoor shower similar four by four inch glossy ceramic tiles in all of the all of the en suites up here we've got turtle deck I think you'll understand why. So this is a great spot. You have a hammock up here. Always an ocean breeze and ocean views. Room for another hammock to string across to the post here. And coming down this way, they got this space which with their guests in the past generally use this as a quiet massage bed, massage deck area. So that's two bedrooms walking towards the street. We've got two pools here. This one actually Nice and deep and cool and fresh. And this other one over here, the pump's humming, I'm sorry for the noise, is heated, which doesn't sound like much, but living here for as long as we have, we appreciate a good heated pool. And of course, more beautiful art. From the street, I'd probably call this bedroom number one. There's Anything the house needs, the only need the house has, is a new floor in this one. Uh, the floor is buckled and it's just time to be replaced. More stained glass. And like I said, similar ensuite to every other bedroom except uh, yellow. And again, I'm a sucker for little inlays and details in tile flooring and such like that. So I enjoy that. Uh, here, so just outside the gates, you know, right here to, to the street, we've got housekeeping uh, apartment here, laundry room here with adjacent to housekeeping. This is a loft space and up top another uh, roof deck and the owner's apartments up the stairs here. In the laundry room, in the storage, linen closet. So 
here up the stairs, a full bath is intended for the owner's suite, but they've got a half bath in there as well, so they don't need to leave to go pee in the middle of the night as I would. Cute little living area, full kitchen. The two bedrooms ocean front do not have AC units. The one downstairs does, this living space does, as does the owner's bedroom. Off here you've got a half bath as I mentioned. Again, super cute details, good use of color everywhere. And a great terrace right here. You can just find the handle to get you outside. Mosquito netting and screens everywhere. This is a nice owner's terrace where, if you like and you're renting it out, you're up here having a glass of wine or a coffee in the morning, or I'm not going to judge, a tequila in the morning. Um, you'd be up here and I'm sure nobody would even notice you. So nice to have this little private outdoor space. And of course, with the mosquito netting here. And then back up some more stairs to another sunning terrace, lounge area. Uh, from up here, you will have gorgeous, ridiculous sunsets. There's a breeze happening right now. Throwing up. You've also got, check this out, solar panels across the street. That's deeded to this house. Not every property in Salima Bay has the land across the street, here you do, and that's a huge benefit. There's also Palapa there, which is, again, part of the house. It's where the housekeepers have some, some a workspace, and oh, it's just it. Some sunsets across here are really spectacular. Again, more murals, more painting. Winding down the tour, Covered parking, You've got a gated entrance, and uh, again, I spoke of a housekeeping apartment at the front. He's got his, their own little terrace. Here's your covered parking space, which is nice to keep the car out of the intense sun. An aluminum gate, a sliding gate there, which is good, zero maintenance, really, except for the track, of course. And then we're outside. Their home here, so we're not going to pop in. But this is a screened uh, terrace that they've got. Uh, that's their space. Room to park. Two cars plus a pathway, or two cars and a golf cart, or a quad, or something like that. And uh, yeah, a lot of color, lots of beautiful greenery. That's what I know. So this is how you're greeted when you come in. A beautiful yellow path and all this, all these palms and garden space and lit up by colors. It's beautiful. You should come see it while you still can or if you miss out on the chance to buy it, I'm sure you can rent it as a vacation rental in the very near future. All right, well, that's the house. Uh, that's the property. The property is spectacular. Uh, I mean, look at this water. It's usually I end the videos with you looking at my face and me talking about the house, but I don't want to ruin the video. I'm going to be showing you more of this water. People out there on kayaks, I don't know if you can see where the waves are breaking. It's a coral reef, second longest barrier reef in the world, right out, right out there. Incredible snorkeling, scuba diving. I'm gonna put the drone up right now and see if I can see what I can see in the water. Uh, but that's it. Fabulous house in Solomon Bay. Thank you for watching the video. Please share, like, and subscribe. I'll leave you with this.